So in this tutorial, I'm uh, going to be showing you how to set up to sell digital products through New Zenla. Okay, it's going to be a fairly loaded tutorial uh, and there'll be two different options I'll be showing you. So of course, feel free to pause and start again, uh, make notes and of course, come back to it at any time. So again, just to re-emphasize, this is going to be quite an in-depth tutorial um, and the purpose of it is to show you step by step how it is possible to sell digital products through your course via New Zenla. Okay, so here we are, admin side, and we're gonna create a new course. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this really simple. As always, it's a concept. Uh, please remember, it's just a concept uh, for you to, of course, go away and, uh, and, and have a little play around of it and see what you can come up with your side. So I'm gonna call this, um, sell my book. Perfect. So straight away, we need to add a pricing plan to it. Again, for the concept, I'm going to keep it really simple and just provide a free payment plan. Ebook. Name it ebook and press finish. Okay, so this is option one. We're going to go over to the curriculum and we're going to add a lesson. Okay, so this could be called uh, ebook downloads and what you can do here is you can download all of the links all of the files or all of the downloadable um, attachments information files that you are selling okay so we can just use this one as an example and you can have a whole string of different downloads for your students uh, and all prospects to be purchasing your products from Okay, now the issue of this, uh, I say it's an issue, issue is it's really down to personal preference. Via your sales page on pages, it will be showing the curriculum. Okay, so typically if you're selling a digital product, you just want to be selling that product. You don't want to be selling or showing all of the curriculum and everything else that uh, is on offer. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is the same as what we've just done. And now you have the option to uh, remove all of the curriculum type information. So we can change this button to um, buy my book and save. And now I actually wanna be removing all of this okay it's not relevant it's not uh, in important in this instance I don't really want to be showing them all my curriculum okay so buy my book then we could go ahead and go to the course access page and here is where again we can edit it a little bit but we can actually give them the option so we don't really need any of we don't need to show the progress and we don't need to show the course curriculum. But what we can do is add a new block and just, just go with an empty block. And within here, let's add a row. And let's add an element. Let's go for header. Or let's go for heading one. Perfect. And let's just call this um, grab my book and let's add a new element and let's add some buttons. Okay, so on this button, if we go to settings, we can uh, change what it's called. Uh, we could call this, for instance, um, download one and we want to be calling an action so we need to be going to it needs to be going to a link they're going to be downloading this particular file so in this instance we need to go back let's go to site and media library let's go to uh, pdfs and uh, let's say i want to use my football skills pdf I'm going to share the file and here you need to make sure that it's for logged in users, okay? 
Let's copy the link and let's go back to the editor and let's paste in that particular link there. Okay, so we can of course do another one. Uh, let's add a new element and let's go for button. And let's call this, and again, it's a concept. Let's call this download to. We're going to choose an action and we're going to say go to link. Now let's, um, let's just take this link. So again, logged in users with this link can download. Copy, back to editor, and then paste and save it. Okay, so if we now preview again, conceptually it's very, very simple and you're gonna be wanting to play around with the header and the footers, etc. But If we preview, in essence, this is a way that you can sell products through your sites and your courses as a standalone product. And you can see it's downloading here. So you've got two options. You can go with option one where you'll also be showing the curriculum or you can go with option two where you'll be removing the course progress and the curriculum and you have a simple sales page which will then take them through to the access page where they can download the particular um, products that they've purchased from you.